learning objectives after completing this module learners will be able to understand the meaning and nature of business finance and its importance know about multiple source of business finance appreciate the merits and limitations of the sources of business finance explore international sources for business finance and learn about the factors that determine the decision of a business to source funds meaning nature and significance of business finance meaning of business finance business satisfy the various needs of the society by providing goods and services this act of producing goods and services need money thus the funds required by a business to conduct its activities is known as business finance nature of business finance business cannot sustain only by the initial capital of the entrepreneur as it grows there is a need for more money to carry out its activities therefore a businessman searches for other sources to fund the business this understanding of financial needs and sourcing the funds is an integral part of running a business financial needs of a business a business needs funds right from its inception to purchasing assets and from paying salaries to expanding the business there are two categories of financial needs for a business one fixed capital requirements purchasing fixed assets like land building plant and machinery fall into the category of fixed capital this fund remains in the business for a long time it is also dependent on the nature of the business a small firm needs small capital whereas a large firm needs more capital two working capital requirements this capital is required for the day to day operations of the business like money for paying off bills paying monthly salaries tax payments etc as above this capital too is dependent on the nature of the business the need for both these capitals increases when a business expands such as for purchasing new technology ramping up inventory clearing debt etc thus for a business evaluating the sources of funds is important classification of sources of funds period basis personal finances and borrowings are the common sources of funds for partnership or proprietorship based business but for a company based business there are many channels to source funds they can be classified based on the period or duration of the fund type of ownership and the source of generation period basis based on period there are three sources of funds long term medium term and short term sources long term sources these fulfill the financing requirements of a company for more than 5 years the sources include equity shares preference shares debentures long term borrowings and financial institution loans the amount sourced in this form is generally used for fixed assets medium term sources if the company needs funds for a period of more than 1 year and less than 5 years then the fund is termed as a medium term fund such funds can be sourced from banks public deposits lease financing and loans from a financial institution short term sources these are for a period of less than 1 year they are available in the form of trade credits loan from commercial banks commercial papers etc short term financing is most commonly used for current account financing also in seasonal business where inventories need to be built based on the season short term financing is used the same is the case with wholesalers and manufacturers 
whose money is tied up in inventories and other receivables. They need large amounts of money for a short duration. Classification of Sources of Funds Ownership Basis As the name suggests, these funds are based on the ownership of the fund. There are two types of funds based on ownership, owner's funds and borrowed funds. Owner's funds Owners of an enterprise, be it the partner or partners, shareholders of the company or a sole trader provide the money for the business. It's the money of the owner. Also, profits earned when reinvested in the company, it becomes the owner's fund. The owner's fund is essentially a long-term fund. It stays invested in the business for the entire life of the business. It is through this fund the owner or owners of the business gain rights to control the business. The two main sources of owner funds are through the issue of equity shares and retained earnings. Borrowed funds. These are the funds obtained by borrowing or by loans. The common sources for borrowed funds are loan from commercial banks and financial institutions, trade credit, issue of debentures and public deposits. The borrowed funds are for a specific period of time with a fixed rate of interest to be paid for the borrowed amount. These funds often burden the business as interest must be paid even when the earnings of the business are low or there is a loss. The borrowed funds are generally provided by keeping fixed assets as security. Classification of Sources of Funds Generation Basis Sources of funds can be categorized based on how they are generated. That is, through internal accrual of funds within the organization or from outside sources through borrowings or loans. Internal Sources These are funds generated within the company. It can be done by clearing the surplus inventory, collecting the receivables, reinvesting the profits into the business, etc. To sum up, the internal sources of funds are equity share capital and retained earnings. They create fewer burdens on the companies in the form of not paying any interest rate on the sum and not mortgaging assets. But these funds have limited capability and fulfill only the limited needs of the business. External Sources Funds that are available outside the company are known as external sources. They are often sourced from suppliers, lenders and investors. Companies rely on external sources when there is a need for raising large sums of money. These funds are often costly compared to internal sources. It is because they involve the payment of interest and mortgaging assets. The funds through external sources can be acquired for both short-term and long-term needs of the company. The common external sources are the issue of debentures, borrowing from commercial banks and financial institutions, accepting money through public deposits commercial papers, trade credit, factoring, preferential shares, etc. Sources of Finance Retained Earnings and Trade Credit Funds can be raised from various sources. They have unique characteristics. Any one funding source will not entirely fulfill the needs of a business. Choice of a source is dependent on the purpose Situation, Costs and Associated Risks Retained Earnings Retained earnings are a source of internal financing or flowing back of profits. It involves retaining a part of the earnings for future needs. The profit available depends on the net profits, dividend policy and the organization's age. Merits They are the permanent source of funds. No explicit cost like interest rate, dividend, etc. is involved. With retained earnings, there is a flexibility and greater operational freedom. 
helps an organization to cope unexpected losses, help increase the market price of the company's shares. Limitations Dissatisfaction among shareholders as dividend amount falls. It is an uncertain source, may lead to unproductive utilization of funds. Trade credit This is a collaboration between two traders. One trader gives credit for the purchase of goods and services to the other. For the buyer, the credit is registered as sundry creditors or accounts payable in the records. Trade credit is a short-term financing source and depends on the goodwill among the traders. Merits It is a conducive and continuous source, immediately available, helps promote sales. It can be used to raise the inventory in short time. No charge on the asset of the company. Limitations The easy and flexible availability of trade credit may make a company to do over trading. The funds available through trade credit are limited. It is a costly source of financing. Source of Finance Factoring it involves a factor rendering various services. They include A. Discounting of bills and collection of debts. Through this, the receivable of account of sale of goods and services are sold to the factor at a certain discount. The factor becomes the sole authority to control credit and collect debts from the client. This helps the firm to cut bad debt losses. Resource and non-resource are the two methods of factoring. Protection against bad debt is not available for a client under resource. Under non-resource factoring, the factor assumes whole credit and pays the client the full amount of invoice in case of bad debt. B. Provision of information regarding the creditworthiness of a client. Factors hold information of many firms' trading histories. The information helps avoid bad customers with payment issues. Also, factors provide consulting services in financing, marketing, etc. to the firms. Factors generally charge a fee for their services. Merits Obtaining funds is cheaper. Allows for faster cash flow flexible and provides security for a debt. No charge on the assets of firms. Factors shouldering the burden of credit control allow the client to concentrate on other aspects of the business. Limitations. This is costly when invoices are many and the amount is small. A higher interest cost has to be paid for the advance finance by the factor. A customer might feel discomfort while dealing with a factor. Lease Financing Public Deposits and Commercial Paper Lease Financing In this, a contractual agreement is signed to lease out an asset by one party to the other for a specific period of time and for a specific amount. Owner of the asset is known as lesser and the user, Leasy. Merits The Leasy can acquire the asset at a low cost. Asset financing is easy. Rentals are computed for taxable profits. Business ownership is not diluted. No impact on debt raising ability. Limitations Restrictions on using the leased asset. Non-renewal of lease affects business. Faulty asset or premature termination of lease causes loss. The leasee can never own the asset. Public deposits. It involves raising deposits from the public. The interest rate offered is usually higher. An organization that is raising public deposits issues deposit receipt for the depositor. Public deposits are regulated by RBI. Merits. A simple procedure for obtaining deposits. Cost is lower. No charge on the assets. No voting rights for depositors keep organization control intact. Limitations. 
difficult for new companies to raise deposits. It is unreliable. When in need of large sums, collection through public deposits is difficult. Commercial Paper CP It is a short-term source. A company issues this unsecured promissory note for a period of 90 to 364 days. Funds raised through CP are often large. The creditworthiness of a company is the key while issuing CP. It is regulated by RBI. Merits No restrictive conditions. Highly liquid and is transferable. Cost is low and huge money can be raised. It is a continuous source of funds. Excess money of a company can be parked in CP. Limitations Only the highly rated firms can raise money through CP. Fund through CP is dependent on the liquidity available with funds supplier. This financing method is impersonal. Issue of Shares and Debentures Issue of Shares A company's capital is divided into small shares and is sold to raise funds. This is called share capital. A company can issue two types of shares, equity and preferential shares. Equity shares, they determine the ownership of a firm. Money raised through equity is known as ownership capital. They are residual owners. Only get paid what is left over of the claims on the company. There is the risk of ownership limited to their paid capital. They have right to vote. Merits High returns for investors. Less burden on the business. Assets are free to mortgage. Democratic control of management. Limitations Fluctuating returns on investment. Cost of this funding is more. Dilutes voting powers. Formalities and procedures for issuing shares. Preference shares. These shareholders get fixed dividend out of net profits and receives capital after the claims of creditors of a company are settled. Merits Safe and steady income with low risk. There is no control over management by preference shareholders. Preferential right of repayment. Limitations It dilutes equity shareholders' claims. The rate of return is higher. Not attractive for investors as returns are possible only when profits are made by the company. There is no tax saving for the company. Debentures these are long-term debt instruments. That is, an amount is borrowed at a fixed interest rate and is promised to be repaid at a future date. The interest is paid at fixed intervals to the holders of debentures. There are different types of debentures, secured and unsecured, register and bearer, convertible and non-convertible, first and second. Merits Lesser risk and fixed income. Suitable for a company when sales and earnings are stable. No harm to control on management. It is a less costly way of financing. Limitations. The fixed charges of debentures are a permanent burden on a company. Even in times of financial difficulties, payment is to be made. Capacity to borrow additional funds reduces with debentures. Commercial Banks and Financial Institutions Commercial Banks Banks provide funds for different purposes of a business. The bank loans are available in various sizes and forms. The rate of interest is dependent on the characteristic of the firm. Bank requires an asset as security before giving loans. Merits these funds are available whenever in need. Information regarding business is kept secret by the banks. Easier source of funds and can be repaid in advance. Limitations Extension or renewal of loan is difficult. It involves detailed scrutiny by the banks and requirement of security and securities. 
some restrictions may be imposed by the banks as part of loan granting conditions. Financial Institutions FIs. Central and state governments have established various financial institutions for funding businesses. They supplement commercial banks by providing owned capital and long-term loans. These institutions are also known as development banks as they promote industrial development in the country. They also provide market research and consultancy services. Merits FIs provide long-term finance, provide managerial, finance and technical assistance. Loans from FIs increase goodwill of borrowing company. Repayment for the loans can be made in easy installments. Funds are available even when there is a depression in the economy. Limitations Criteria for granting loan is rigid. Certain restrictions are imposed on the borrowers. FIs install their nominees in the board of directors of the company. International Financing Companies can also source funds from various international financing institutions. They are Commercial Banks Foreign currency loans are available for the companies from commercial banks across the world. The loans provided by these banks vary from country to country. International Agencies and Development Banks Loans and grants are provided by these bodies for financing international trade and business. They are set up by developed countries to promote development in backward areas of the world. International Capital Markets the instruments used for sourcing funds through these are Global Depository Receipts GDRs. GDRs are a company's local shares converted into depository receipts that are denominated in US dollars. These negotiable instruments can be traded anywhere in the world. GDRs do not give voting rights but only allows collecting dividends and capital. American Depository Receipts ADRs. Unlike GDRs, these can be traded only in USA. Indian Depository Receipts IDRs. These depository receipts are formed by an Indian depository and are denominated in rupees. This instrument enables a foreign company to raise money from Indian securities. Foreign Currency Convertible Bonds FCCBS. These are limited period debt securities linked to equity of a company. They need to be converted into a depository receipts or equity. FCCBs carry fixed interest rate and are issued in foreign currencies. They are traded on foreign stock exchange. Factors affecting the choice of source of funds For companies, the choice of the source of funds is determined by various factors. It makes the decision of sourcing funds a difficult one for the business. The following are the factors that affect this choice of sourcing finance. Cost For sourcing funds, the company needs to make account of the cost of procurement of funds and the cost of utilizing the funds. Financial strength and stability of operations. The financial strength of a business determines its repaying capacity. Thus, it should be taken into account before sourcing funds. Form of organization and legal status. The organization form and its legal status have a bearing while sourcing funds. For example, equities cannot be issued by a partnership firm. It can be done only by a joint stock company. Purpose and time period Business should plan its funding according to its purpose and duration of time. For short-term needs, it can source from trade credits, commercial paper, etc. For long-term requirements, it can go for issuing shares, debentures, etc. Risk Profile Business should undertake complete risk evaluation of the source of finance. 
This helps the business take informed decision. Control Some sources of finance can hamper the control and powers of the owners on the management. Thus, the decision of sourcing the funds needs to be taken keeping this in mind. Effect on creditworthiness The creditworthiness of the company is affected by some sources of finances. It may impact the future borrowing capability of the company. Flexibility and ease Flexibility and ease with which funds can be obtained is another factor that impacts the decision of sourcing funds. For example, the provisions for granting loans by banks put many restrictions on the borrowing company. Thus, a company may avoid loans from banks. Tax Benefits Another important factor a company has to look into is the tax benefits on the funds it sourced. For example, preferential shares do not attract tax, but interest on debenture is taxable. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. To fulfill the needs of people, business need finance to conduct their activities. This is known as business finance. Understanding the financial needs and sourcing funds is an integral part of running a business. There are two types of financial needs for a business. Fixed capital requirements and working capital requirements. Sources of funds can be classified into three types on the basis of period, on the basis of ownership and on the basis of generation. Based on period, there are three sources of funds. Long term, more than five years. Medium term, one year to five years. And short term sources, less than one year. On the basis of ownership, there are two types of funds. Owner's funds and borrowed funds. Owner's funds are funds of the owners themselves. Borrowed funds, these are funds obtained by borrowing. On the basis of generation, there are two types. Internal sources and external sources. Internal sources are retained earnings and equity capital are internally sourced funds. External sources are funds sourced from outside the company like banks and financial institutions. There are various sources through which a business can raise funds. They are retained earnings, trade credit, factoring, lease financing, public deposits, commercial paper, issue of shares, debentures, commercial banks, financial institutions. Other than the above mentioned, companies can source finance internationally. They include commercial banks, international agencies and development banks, international capital markets. 1. Global Depository Receipts, GDRs. 2. American Depository Receipts, ADRs. 3. Indian Depository Receipts, IDRs. 4. Foreign Currency Convertible Bonds, FCCBs. For a business, before sourcing funds, it has to consider various factors. They are cost, financial strength and stability of operations, form of organization and legal status, purpose and the time period, risk profile, control, effect on creditworthiness, flexibility and ease, tax benefits.